So how is it going? Dank Division, Dank Dan here, and let's talk about four letters. Four letters that have been pretty much the form of controversy ever since MW 2019 launched. S B M M. Skill-based matchmaking. Now to make this quite clear, we are all aware that skill-based matchmaking has been around since as far back as COD goes. It meant that you weren't going to always get the idiotic lobbies. However, over time, it has become controversial because, well, let's face it, you feel like almost every match you are in is nothing more than a sweat fest. It almost feels like every element of enjoying yourself and having fun in the game is pretty much gone. Instead, you're having to sweat every single game. You have to win every single game. You are not allowed to enjoy just playing the play and having a variety of skill levels. You only have one skill level, the exact same one as you. And for some people, they have claimed that this has killed that COD vibe of coming home or having a day off from work or from school and picking up a controller and just having some fun. Those days, some claim, will never come back. So, we're going to be talking about the leaks and rumors circulating on how skill-based matchmaking is going to be worked in the Modern Warfare 2. Now, the first thing that's worth noting is that they're paying attention to how things have worked. Now, what does that mean? They know Vanguard failed. Let, let, let's face it, they know, we know. Everybody knows that Vanguard hit the ground like a bird without wings and did not get back up and since then Activision's research and development has pretty much been trying to do everything possible to come up with a system that is going to accommodate all brackets of skill levels whether it be the professional players who we see in CDL to the people who honestly you tell them to press the jump button and they ask which button is that this is supposed to be a system that will be less debilitating for better margins of players instead of, you know, penalizing them and allowing for a protected bracket to coexist for the lower skilled players. Now, this is where things are going to get interesting. Apparently, with the upcoming Modern Warfare 2, the game plan is to incorporate bot pools. <laughs> now, what does this mean? This means player versus player versus AI. Now, it's talked about for DMZ Zone as well as Warzone 2, so it could implement similar to how Fortnite does it, that you'll go up against real players while also having the occasional bot players just to fill the lobby. And they also intend to have a PvE mode on the condition that players' statistics are eligible to enter these certain lobbies. What's better yet is that the system is set to be able to track the player's level of skill throughout the match. That means leveling and countering the smurfs. For those of you who don't know what a smurf is, a smurf is, let's say, someone on the level of J-God or Skump, who decides to make a brand new account and just play in the new lobbies and just pub stomp people for content. Now, what does this mean? This means that anyone who tries to do that, it's not going to work anymore. It might outright remove you from those matches and start putting you back into the pool level, which means back into the sweat fest you go. Now, with Call of Duty considering integrating bot pools, it is worth noting that this is to cater to a very specific set of players in mind. The handicapped, both physically and mentally. No, that doesn't mean the jackass on TikTok who wants to get that one clip to look like their god and get a v2 we're talking about the people who only have one hand or are somewhere on the spectrum the people who genuinely might need that ease into first person shooters until they can get get a grip of it and actually figure out a way to not only quite possibly meet the levels of people who are not handicapped but quite possibly even surpass them giving them a chance to enjoy the game. Because let's face it, up until now, anyone who was handicapped was pretty much going to get pub stomped. A lot of people didn't have any sympathy. Quite frankly, I'll 
be brutally honest, I'm not a big fan of uh, sympathy. My thoughts on it are, you know what? If I'm going to get pub stomped, I'm going to get pub stomped. If I'm not going to get pub stomped, cool. Now, some of you might be sitting here going, okay, what about disbanding lobbies? Well, I'm sad to say it, ladies and gentlemen. The days of us being in the same lobby from morning till night and finally getting the jump on that asshole who's been pretty much killing you every single match and griefing the shit out of you, those days are gone. They pretty much are guaranteeing that they want the skill-based matchmaking system to remain exactly as is in that regard. Claiming that if they were to remove disbanding lobbies, their skill-based matchmaking system would never work. Which, to be perfectly honest, fucking blows. Do you know how many friends we've all made over the course of years playing Call of Duty? Do you know how many people we pretty much told, oh, go fuck yourself, and by the end of the night, hey, add me on Xbox. I haven't seen that phrase, her, I haven't heard that phrase in years. And that's because you end up getting thrown out of the lobby as soon as you're done, and it's on to the next match of random people that you know nothing about. And let's face it, they're, they need to succeed with this system. Granted, yes, I think it's a fucking loss having the disbanding lobbies because no one asked for it and no one wants it. I question how the bot lobbies are going to work. I also question if they're actually going to be able to stop the Smurfs from being able to get the clips that they want and get all the shit that they need. That also begs the question, are we now going to start seeing that everyone is going to be sweating at all times? With that being said, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys. I want to see the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on the information I've given you? Do you think this is a win? Do you think this is a loss? Do you think skill-based matchmaking, not just in COD, but just in general across all of gaming, is killing the casual players? That it's starting to turn into we cannot enjoy the game, but rather we are forced to grind and sweat and feel like we're working a fucking job just to unlock anything. So, I'm looking forward to seeing that comment section. Don't forget to follow us on all of our socials. You guys have a wonderful day, night, whatever you're doing. Do it wholeheartedly. And of course, as always, this is Dank Dan, signing off. Get them to hit that subscribe button, Dank. It's the only way we can figure out the numbers. What do the numbers mean, Dank? We're wasting valuable time.